Hey everybody, who will be the surprise breakout player of 2022 for the Washington Commanders? That will be the question. Is it going to be one of the rookies that we draft this year, which could be highly likely, but in terms of, I want to say specifically a player that we already have on the team, let's focus on that because we have no idea right now who we're going to draft. We will know by the end of next week, obviously, but exactly who we have on the staff right now uh, on the roster, who's going to be the breakout player? Who's going to be the comeback player? Are they going to be the same player? You know, uh, I guess when you consider breakout players, I consider a player that... Um, you know, had some some ups and downs last season, did some good things, but, you know, overall, it was learning experience, got some good playing time, um, but this year, they really take it to the next level. They just completely excel, and that's what I want to see. And, you know, we think about players last year, some players that we – Drafted certainly um, players like uh, uh, Benjamin St. Juice, for instance. Um, you know, we expected a little bit more. I really think that he is going to be one of our breakout players. I just have this feeling about him because I, I think that he was so close. Uh, he did get burnt a lot of times, but. You know, if you really looked at his play last year, he was right there. He was right there. It wasn't that he was, you know, that he was so badly burnt on several plays that you just had to sit the player down. No, I mean, he was right there with really good coverage a lot of times. It's just that the receivers made some good plays and still caught the ball. And I think in time, St. Juice will will figure out how to lock those receivers down. And I think that he can really turn into a really solid corner for us. And I think this year he's going to take the, the leap. I really do. Um, and I, I really think that, um, you know, he, he of course, talk is cheap. You're going to have to prove it on the field. But, you know, St. Juice certainly... I think the season last year didn't end the way that he had hoped it would end. And I think, you know, he's got something to prove definitely this year. I like him. Um, I think he was kind of a forgotten man toward the end of the season. We didn't see him on the field. So um, let's see what he could do this year. But I really think he's going to be a breakout player. We really need as many breakout players on defense as we can in that secondary you know, we got some good young players like Cameron Curl, obviously. Uh, we want to continue to push guys like that. Having a good, solid, young core and that defensive secondary is only going to improve that strong defense even more. Um, <clears throat> so that that's who I think is going to be our breakout player. Now, who's going to be our comeback player of the year? Um, everybody is really hoping for Chase Young. And I, I'm hoping for Chase Young as well because, you know, his rookie season, you know, as advertised, Chase Young, dominant player, very exciting. You know, you're seeing a lot of uh, number 99s in the, in the uh, stadiums uh, or in the seats at the stadium. And then in his sophomore year, a shell of himself, it seemed like, just really couldn't make any plays, even though I honestly think if you were able to have access to tape, you could break down what he was doing. He was causing havoc, but he wasn't really making the big-time plays. So, you know, but he did, for all intents and purposes, you could probably see that, yeah, he was taking a step back. He was not really making the plays that we expected someone like Chase Young to make plays. And then, obviously, he had uh, the ACL tear and he was out for the season. I think he's going to be the comeback player. But I would also like to see Curtis Samuel really 
kind of challenge him for that as well because I think in the in in the mix of you know wide receiver and all of this uh, you know contract talk with Terry McLaurin, which I have a video in the can about that. I hope to release tomorrow. Um, that I you know I really hope that Curtis Samuel is able to come back and be the player that we had hoped he was going to be last year that he can be for us this year because we need all the firepower that we can obviously have on offense. Carson Wentz needs all the weapons at his disposal on offense. So to have somebody like Curtis Samuel would be just very invaluable for Carson Wentz. Uh, So I'm kind of hoping for a tie on that, but ultimately I want Chase Young to be the comeback player of the year because he really needs it. We need him to be that dominant player that we drafted in 2020, and I think he will. I think he's just too good of a player to be somebody that is basically a one-hit wonder, uh, and I don't think he is one-hit wonder. So anyway, let me know in the comments section what you think. Who's going to be your Washington Commanders Comeback Player of the Year? Who's going to be your Washington Commanders Breakout Player of the Year? Let me know in the comments section below. If you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, If you want to support me even further, please visit my Patreon page. And with all that said, let's go Maniacs. Have a great day.